Hey guys, it's Allie, and in today's video, I want to share with you guys my least favorite dolls that AG has ever made. I've made a video before talking about my least favorite dolls in my collection, so even though they were my least favorites, I did buy all of these dolls for a reason. But in terms of dolls American Girl as a company has ever made, here are my least favorites. I'm not going to be including Truly Me dolls, as they are all made to look like people. I guess just to summarize that, my least favorite Truly Me dolls would just be the ones that look alike, so all the blonde ones with bangs. If you guys do you want a separate video of my least favorite truly me's let me know but this is just going to be contemporary girl of the year and be forever slash historical whatever you want to call it so without further ado let's get started this first doll is actually one i own in my collection and that is gabriella mcbride now let me explain as a doll she's stunning that is why i own her i buy a doll because i like the doll however gabriella mcbride as her own separate entity so not truly me number i think it was 46 is just very lazy. She's a recycled truly me. American Girl's not giving us anything creative. Teddy Grant was supposed to be the girl of the year. American Girl wanted to satisfy its audiences and create a doll of color girl of the year, but they were super lazy about it and just recycled a truly me doll. And for that, she is one of my least favorite dolls because there is zero creativity there. The next doll is Kirsten Larson. I know she's one of the original three American Girl dolls, but she's definitely my least favorite of the three. Yes, she was the original doll with the blue eyes, blonde hair, and bangs. However, that's a combination that just due to American Girl, it's been done so much that it doesn't really make Kirsten stand out as a super unique doll or anything. Plus, after watching the doll places Kirsten on the run, I am low-key scared of a Kirsten doll. Kirsten, Kirsten, I'm not sure how you say it. I know people who say both, so I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Also, when I got into American Girl, Kirsten had been retired, so I was never really exposed to her collection that much, and she's not necessarily the most popular doll on AGIG. And if you are familiar with my collection at all, you know that I make all of my dolls modern, and I don't really see modern Kirstens that often. Of course, I could be the first one. Every single time I've seen a Kirsten in like stop motions or something, she's like a very traditional, old-fashioned type of doll and I don't think that vibes with my collection yes she's very influential in American Girl's history but she is not my cup of tea the next doll we're gonna get controversial here and that is Courtney Moore if you did watch my Q&A video I did discuss why I'm not the biggest Courtney Moore fan but I will reiterate that since that video was 22 minutes long there are timestamps though so when Courtney Moore got released everyone was comparing her to Mary Ellen and a lot of people were saying Courtney is the superior doll compared to Mary Ellen but I am a Mary Ellen stan fan, whatever you want to say. Juniper is one of the most iconic dolls in my collection, and I love Mary Ellen to death. I can't believe a lot of people don't like her, but that's your opinion. I have mine. Please respect that. But when Courtney got released, she was just Mary Ellen with curly hair. So there's not a ton of creativity from American Girl's part, but really due to the way that American Girl marketed Courtney, it made her feel like a little kid. Now, obviously all of these dolls are supposed to represent young kids, However, I make all of my dolls teens and young adults, so it's really hard for me to get a doll that is so ingrained in my mind as a kid and then make her fit in with the rest of my collection by putting her in like trendy crop tops, ripped jeans, and all that stuff. The way American Girl voices Courtney is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. And in terms of her collection, it's very, very stereotypical 80s with a lot of bright colors, appealing to the kids, I get it, but there's so much cute. 80s stuff that American Girl could have done. I do love the acid wash jacket and jeans, but Heathers is one of my all-time favorite movies. It's super 80s, so give me some Heathers blazers or something like that and croquet mallets. I would be happy. That is not a movie for kids though at all. But you know, there's a ton of fun 80s movies out there, like all the John Hughes ones, and I wish American Girl went not necessarily more mature, but I wish that they didn't rely on graphics as much as they ended up doing for Courtney. But Courtney is a doll. She just looks like Mary Ellen and I only picture kid when I look at her. So that is why I'm not a Courtney Moore fan. Next up is Kaylee Hopkins, the second ever girl of the year doll. In terms of a doll who has a place in American girl history, she definitely does second girl of the year. So very, very influential doll in terms of the path that American girl as a brand took. However, she is one of the most forgettable girl of the years in my opinion and I'm sure you guys will all agree. She's not that common on AGIG so compared to other girl of the years like Kanani and even Lindsay no one's like I want a Kaylee Hopkins doll she's my dream doll. Never seen that. 
Her collection is also super tiny as well, but I am going to try and focus on talking about the doll itself and not the collection. She's blonde, brown eyes, classic mold. There's really nothing super unique about her. She looks almost like a truly me 24, and she just seems very boring. She's never really been on my radar. The only time I would see myself getting a Kaylee is if I ended up collecting every single girl of the year, which I do not have any plans to do at the moment. Sticking with Girl of the Years, the next one of my least favorite American Girl dolls is Nikki Fleming. Similar to Kaylee, I feel like she's just very forgettable in the American Girl line. The only time I ever see a Nikki doll is if somebody finds one for cheap and fixes them up on YouTube, but they aren't popular on AGIG. I can't even name a single item in her collection besides her dog. Right before her, we had Jess, a super popular doll. Right after, we had Mia, another really popular doll. Both those dolls looked super unique, and Nikki is just kind of there in the middle 2007 very very forgettable in my opinion no super standout features but I do like her curly hair the next doll is one that you know I dislike if you have been following me for a while and that is Luciana Vega now before I get into this anytime I talk about how much I dislike Luciana people are always like yes but her story is so good I think stem is a great thing to base a doll's story off of it's super unique for American girl personally I'm not super into stem so I can't can't really relate to Luciana that much, but when I do buy a doll for my collection or I pick a favorite doll, I pick based on appearance, which is superficial, I know, but that's just because I usually don't read the books and even if I do read a doll's book, I normally come up with my own personality for that doll. So even though Luciana does love STEM and things like that, I have not read her books, so we are going to be talking about Luciana as a doll, the piece of vinyl with stuffing, not based on the character that loves space and NASA and STEM and all that. That. With that out of the way, let's talk about why I dislike Luciana. She's another doll, similar to Courtney, that every time I look at her, I just see kid. There's nothing wrong with that. She's meant to be a kid, so on AG's end, that is a win. But for me, someone who wants to make my dolls look older and more modern, Luciana is not my style. She does have a colored streak in her hair. I am not into colored hair dolls, but compared to Isabel, who also did have colored hair, her pink hair strands were removable. Luciana's is not. So if you want a doll without the purple, you cannot do that. I also just really dislike her meat outfit. It. It's galaxy, which is one of those trends that feels very very dated to me Anytime I see that I think of like 12 year old kid who's obsessed with galaxy. It is not my style So because of that I cannot shake Luciana being a kid out of my mind and she's just never really appealed to me that much Next up is Z Yang. She's a contemporary character who I always forget exists This video is also kind of dolls I forget exist in general, but we're talking about Z Yang. Tenny was meant to be the original girl of the year, but they ended up pushing her into the contemporary line, which felt like a last minute thingy, just so they could still release Tenny and her collection in full glory and give her a place. And then so you don't have a doll line with just one, 1.5 if you count Love Again characters, they ended up releasing Zi Yang. Similar to Gabriella, she is pretty much a pre-existing doll, they just added a mole on her. She's based off of the web show AGZ Crew, which is super cool, but I feel like American Girl created her as an original character, and just releasing this doll in bulk, I feel like takes away from that. Now everyone can have their own Zi Yang doll, just like the American Girl web series. Series. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. It felt very last minute and lazy, kind of like Gabriella, just to pretty much take a doll that already existed and throw on a birthmark. I do like her collection though, because I obviously do YouTube, so all of the film stuff is very fun in my opinion. The final doll I'm going to be talking about is Kira Bailey, our reigning girl of the year. Now I have gone back and forth about her as a doll. Do I think she's cute? Yes, but it keeps bothering me that she looks so similar to Julie. And because because of that, she is one of my least favorite dolls because there isn't as much originality as I wish there was. She has green eyes, which is super cool. I still need to buy myself a doll with green eyes, but in a lot of her stock photos, especially when her hair is braided, she looks exactly like Julie if you ignore her eye color. I want dolls to be original. I don't think AG plans on retiring Julie anytime soon, so I am not a fan of Kira. I have seen her in person at the American Girl store. Her hair is super soft, however, everyone tells me that 
that her hair is super thin, which is something that most people are not a big fan of. So for that, as well as her resemblance to Julie, she is one of my least favorite American Girl dolls that they have ever made. American Girl, you've barely made any doll of color girl of the years, so there is plenty of room to give us a unique girl of the year that doesn't just look like a truly me or another existing doll. So please, make a creative doll. Thank you. So with all of that being said, that was my list of my least favorite American Girl dolls that AG has ever made. Please let me know in the comments what are some of your least favorite dolls that American Girl has ever made. I am very, very curious to hear. And if you did like this video, be sure to let me know so I can make a part two with Truly Me dolls. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you are notified whenever I post another American Girl video. Have an amazing day and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye!